I am here to hand over the management of the affairs of our nation to a new generation of useful leaders. And with that, he sat down. A slight deviation from the norm where his speech would usually end with an off-the-cuff, uniquely crafted humor coated in candor. But on this day, Kibaki stuck to the script. It was instead the new occupants of the House on the Hill who bore the witty remarks while underscoring Kibaki's new role. It's not always that you find a father figure who has been in politics and leadership for 50 years. Uhuru Kenyatta and I are very lucky because we know who you voted for. It was his last meal at State House. As going forward, he will require an invitation from the new president, Uhuru Kenyatta, to access this house on the hill. Washing his hand of all matters of running the affairs of the country, taking a place as the many others as a guest at State House. And when it was all said and done, it was time for him to leave his abode for the past 10 years, State House. But not before the people he worked closely with requested for an opportunity to bid him farewell. Chief of Defense Forces General Julius Karangi led the KDF top brass. Of Army Commander Lieutenant General Joseph Kasaon. And Air Force Commander Major General Joff Otieno. And Navy Commander Major General Ngewa Mukala, all top ranking officials of the Kenya Defense Forces that have a special place in their hearts for this man, who, as their commander in chief, successfully led the entry into the foray of war in Somalia, dubbed Operation Linda Inchi. As the commander in chief, I wish to assure Kenyans that the government will deal decisively with any person or group engaging in crime activities. A rare opportunity presented itself as well for Kibaki's aide de camp, who after the handing over of the sword, making Kenyatta the commander-in-chief, Kenya. shifted to his new boss, Uhuru Kenyatta. And so, for the first time, he too had an opportunity after more than a year standing behind his commander to stand in front of him and honor his years of service before taking his place once again behind his new commander-in-chief. And those rarely in the public limelight, like NSIS boss Michael Gishangi, also bidding farewell to his former boss. And with that, it was time for Kibaki to leave State House, as the new leadership and staff of State House waved at a man whose hallmarks include free primary education and development of infrastructure, all planned to perfection, including the choice of song for the band. Translated, asking God to guide and be with the former president, as Kibaki drove off with a car with private number plates as opposed to the stretch limo he left in earlier that morning. Bringing to a close a day that had been filled with emotion, 
Asante ni wananchi. Excuse me. Pomp, color, and rhythm. And where Kibaki's family, save for Lucy Kibaki, played a role in seeing through his transition to the list of former heads of state and the League of African Statesmen. Willis Saburu, Citizen Live at 9.